I left I left the um I leave it I leave it on the tour bus when my dad went in on tour. So when okay. I fly, I don't have to right. fly with it this right, time. Right, so right, I leave right. the telly on the on the tour on the bus. bus. Yeah, but they not on tour now. They here, so so is your telly, Dennis. I'm doing it again. Well, I played it. So you gonna bring it out for the January shows? Well, I, that's what I've been playing. Oh, well, that's the one you've been playing that real pretty one. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's that's the guitar. Been. But I'm gonna change up. I'm gonna bring uh, I'm gonna bring down two more guitars. All right. I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use both uh, strats and I'm gonna use the polka dot one. Nice. One of, them, one of the shows. Nice. Now I got a question. I'm not really sure how this applies, but tell me. Somebody asked, "Is Brazil 2020 in the works?" I hope so. Cool. Tell I me about Brazil I'll, 2020. What does it mean? Uh, I guess uh, we'll be going to Brazil this year. Um, maybe performing down there again. I, nice. I, I went. I went. Uh, I don't know how many years ago it was. But I went. We went to Brazil. My dad was there. And, uh, uh, we played at this this big arena. Man, it was. Uh, really? Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. Like I said, he he uh, he done a lot for me, put me you know in these shows with him and uh, having me fly out to places. Isn't that cool? Oh yeah, oh, nothing, nothing. What an honor! Nothing like it in the world. Oh, it is. I have photos uh, soon uh, that'll be, be out, I guess, or Instagram. You see, you actually see me actually uh, in one of the shows bowing down on my knees to my dad like this, like because you the <laughs> greatest. You know what I mean? It's just that's hard for me to explain. But oh he, no, yeah. no, I, I totally. Totally understand. Right. And I actually think that could be a lot of pressure, too. I, I totally get that. Pressure? I, I mean, it's... I get it. it. Yeah. It, it, used to, it, it used to be more more of me being afraid. I don't think it would be pressure. Right. I mean, because once, once I get comfortable, you, you hear him, like, when he when he, when he he said yeah. he mentioned, that, you know, he got his son in the house, and he's going to get him up, and then and he looks at the side stage, I'm over there itching, like, oh, hurry up. Come on, call me, call me, call me. <laughs> but see, before, no doubt, no before, doubt. before sure. I used to hide. You know what he said? I got his son. Yeah, I oh, still man, shake. I, I don't want to go up there, Daddy. Yep. I don't know if I'm comfortable. Yep. With I still, I still nah. shake. I still nah. shake. And I remember one you know, show. We were in California. Yeah. And uh, I was playing. Uh, what was his name? Redding Chico. One of them. So we was in California, okay. and I was, I was playing. And all of a sudden, I mean, the crowd, the crowd. Just went nuts, and I'm up on stage, and I, I put a little smile on my face. In my head, I'm saying like, "I'm killing it, I'm killing it, I'm nailing it." And all of a sudden, I look over my shoulder. That's who was walking on the stage, my dad. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, it was, no it, was, it was, it was, yeah. And I was like, no "Man, doubt. it's nice, it's nice." Yeah, I have a, I have a blast with him though. Trust oh, me. Oh, I, I bet it's cool as all get go, man, to be up there doing your thing with him, man. I bet. Oh yeah. Um. Do you have a favorite blues album? I don't. Old, new, anything yeah, in particular? I mean, not, 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 not right, not right off here, right now. I can't think of it. It's, it's got to be one that my dad and Junior Wells did. I mean, I really like this song. This, this is one of the songs that, that I would like to, you know, perform. Right. Uh, it's a uh, which album is that? I can't remember which album it is. It's him and Junior Wells. It's uh, not T N, not T N T. That's a good one. Yeah, not T N T. Smoking lightning, or drinking lightning, <laughs> and smoking something. Yeah, smoking. T and, T and, drinking TNT and smoking dynamite. That's it. Yeah. What uh -huh. a classic line. Like, oh, yeah. But I wouldn't mind smoking a little dynamite with you. Uh huh. <laughs> I'd be all right that, with that. Do they still call it that? I don't know what they call it anymore, <laughs> but, you know, hell, I'm old enough to remember, but, yeah. you know, my goodness. Yeah. Um, I think this is a really cool question. One of your fans wants to know, and I truly believe I know the answer to it already. I just want to hear your version of it. Okay. Is the blue still alive? Yes, it is. I think it's alive and well. Oh, it's alive and well. You know, i got to give you a lot of credit. Uh, this whole uh, BuddyGuyRadio.com started uh, two and a half years ago with you. I'm going to give you the credit for this. We, we were in Maryville, Indiana with Kenny Wayne Shepherd, And yeah. your dad at every show talked about how they don't play the blues on the radio anymore. Right. And some bald white guy standing in the front row going, Buddy, was Buddy, that? I play the blues. Was that you? That was me. I remember. We was at the uh, plaza. At the Star Plaza. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember. I and, remember and, you. and you came out after the show and you said, hey, you got a quick second? Somebody wants to talk to you. Right. And we went backstage. We took a picture on, on the stage up there. I still have it home in a frame. I should get you a copy of it. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, the blues is definitely still alive. And oh, yeah. And, and, you know, last weekend, I think you had a post up um, uh, of one of the shows that we had on live from last weekend, one of the shows. And I shared it. Uh, with my people about okay. you know, BuddyGuyRadio.com. And the response was, to say it was overwhelming, was a polite way of putting it. We got responses from 
from as far away as Japan, Brazil, New Zealand, Australia, uh, uh, France, Italy, not alone just the, the immediate United States, all around the right. world. The wow. blues is definitely oh, yeah. alive and well. Oh, yeah. Uh, so not to coin the phrase from your father's last album. It is. It's the blues. The truth. And you know, Dave told me when we first started talking about building this radio station up, mm -hmm. Dad thought that the blues could be gone as a genre of music within 10 years. I don't see that. I don't see it. Especially don't, when you no. see the likes of the, the guys coming up tonight. Kingfish is in town tonight. Yep. Tomorrow night. Yep. Um, these young guys. Jemiah last night. Oh, yeah. The, Fire. You know, guys Fire. like this guy. I know his name is Greg Guy. The, the blues isn't going anywhere. No. We're going to be fine. As, as, and, and we're going to carry the torch. That's right. You know, and keep this music going forward. And now we have uh, a vehicle that they can hear your father's music and all the rest of the music right. all around the world. Dad told me one thing. He goes, I don't want this to be all buddy guy music yeah. all day long. It Gospel. wants to be all muddy Gospel. waters. Play all the artists. Play the new guys coming up. The people who don't have a platform for their music. Right. Gospel. Jazz. All of that. He wants to hear all the stuff. Going back to when he was young. And he used to listen to AM radio and wanted to hear that same mix of music. Right. So, um, now, what are your thoughts on why so many different blues clubs are dying off the circuit and closing their doors? Mm. Any thoughts on that? Uh, I would I would say uh, at at that at that time, if they close, it's got to be location. Okay. You know, I, I would just say it's got to be uh, you know location, maybe to to move out or not as much business is coming to where they located or okay. something like that. You know, other than, so other it's than it's that. just basically economics of the location. Right. You're at. Because right. I look around the room, and, and I, I always watch the crowds, wherever I'm at, whether it's here or any other venue in, in, in the country. And the one thing I can say unequivocally is people always have the biggest smiles on their face while they're listening to the blues. And blues isn't a race-driven genre of music. Right. It, it, cross over, it carries over all the different uh, uh, races. I mean, everybody digs the blues. Yeah, that's you, you, you know, back to that question when you said it, it, it's definitely alive and well. Okay. I look at... My dad, mm -hmm. 83. Mm -hmm. God bless him. When, yeah, when he was a little boy, these guys he listened to, I still mm -hmm. hear that music. And mm -hmm. it sounds just as good to him when he was a little boy right. to me today. So it's definitely not done. It ain't going nowhere. I can no, tell you that. No, we're not going to let that happen. I mean, I've heard I've heard songs. I won't have to name them that, that, that was probably like uh, out, put out four years ago. You don't even hear that no more. You know what I mean? Right. That song, you heard it when it was there. Right. At that moment, you heard it, and it lasted, whatever it did on the charts, and right. after that, it's gone. It's just gone. You see, yeah. Like I said, blues, these guys my dad used to listen to when he was little. Mm -hmm. Now, this is before I was born, you know, way before I was born. Oh, God, before I was born. I listened to that music, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. and then you say, you, you mentioned Kingfish and, and uh, Jemiah, Jemiah, right? Yeah. And look, they're younger than me. They listen to it. Right. They play it. So it, right. like I said, it ain't, it ain't going nowhere. Listen, there's kids, there's babies being born as we speak that are going to become the next Come out Jemiah, playing. the next Kingfish, playing the next the Greg Guy. They're out there. And, oh, and, yeah. and we're going to keep it going. I got one last question for you, Greg, and thank you so much for oh, taking yeah, the no time problem. to sit and no talk problem. today. Um, what song of yours is your favorite that you've written? That I've written? Yeah, that you've written. What of your songs is your favorite song that you've written? Uh, Do you have one? Yeah, the Whiskey in the Bottle. Whiskey in the bottle, blues in the other hand. I want to hear it. Ah, you will. I want to hear will. it. We'll <laughs> drop will. it on the radio station. Oh, yeah, you will. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share with your fans and your listeners? I mean, thank you. Uh, thank all of you guys. Not, you know, nothing special to say, but, you know, just, just thank you. I appreciate it. For, for listening, mm -hmm. following, whatever you guys do. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm a real person, man. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah. And, and I truly believe that what you see is who you are. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. You're very humble, and uh, I really thank you for taking the time. One, absolutely one last question. Yeah. Who would you recommend for the next interview here in the green room to help us keep the blues alive? You can say it. You can say it. Okay. We can always edit. Turner and Vino. Uh, Vino. Vino Loud. Vino Loud. Uh, 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 yeah, I would put Vino. Yeah, Vino. Definitely, okay. Definitely. Well, Vino, Vino is blues royalty, too, so we'll oh, speak yeah. to him next. Oh, yeah. And you hear it right here, right here in the green room. We will get Vino in here next. Everybody, this is Mr. Greg Guy, son of Mr. Buddy Guy, blues royalty. Y'all thank him. Greg, oh, it's absolutely a pleasure, brother. No problem. God Pat. bless you. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. There we go. That was outstanding. Oh yeah, that it was, it was outstanding. real. It was real, down to earth. No, 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 no rehearsal. You're no a natural, rehearsal. brother. You're an absolute natural. 
Uh, you answered everything. I thought fantastic, man. You did a great job, Dan.